Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of the Brew Bear Beer Festival. Today's show is sponsored by Mrs. Brew Bear. Now, Mrs. Brew Bear and I went to the beautiful land of Wales and we stayed at the uh, fantastic village of Port Merion. Um, put a link below to Port Merion, go and check it out. It is a magical, wonderful, beautiful place. As part of the visit, she very, very kindly purchased me three beers, which I've been reviewing for this uh, mini series right here on Thursday, Thursday. And this is beer number three. Well, actually, it's number six. It is a number six dark ale. Now, this comes from the uh, Bragdy Nant Brewery in Wales. For those of you who know your TV series, etc., Port Marion was where the cult fantastic TV series The Prisoner was filmed with the late, great Patrick McGowan. So, I think you can maybe only buy this on site at Port Marion. So, you might not see this in the shops. However, plain black cap, let's get it popped and poured. It's a dark ale, nice bit of can of smoke on that as well. Look at that, or dragon smoke as it's, uh, as it's from the land of Wales. Now we've got a splodged semi nucleated glass. Let's get this popped and poured. Now, this is bottle conditioned as well, so I'll have to leave a little bit in the bottle and I won't faff about trying to rehydrate you, no, I mean, you know, taking the yeast is stir plate in it and faffing about like that. Right then, that pours a two finger, slightly off white tanned head. Color wise, that is just gonna go up to my, my spotlights. That's sort of like a porter, porter brown, if that makes sense. Um, so maybe a Coca-Cola color. Um, other brands of Coca-Cola, of Coke, are available, of course. Head is actually sticking around. Let's go in for a sniff. Interesting. Caramel, bit of chocolate. Quite bready as well. Yeah, those are the main main tastes. Uh, sorry, most the main aromas I'm getting. Let's go for a uh, a taste. Cheers, everyone. Bit of treacle, bit of caramel, licorice, bit smoky actually as well. Um, burnt chocolate, but that's all about dark malts, as you might have expected from a beer of that colour once it was uh, once it was poured. Lacing is uh, pretty good actually. That's uh, sticking around. Carbonation wise, um, not overly carbed. Um, I quite like. I, I think I subscribe to the old theory of the, the darker the beer, the less carbonation. And I hope that makes sense to uh, to everyone out there. I'm sure if you brew your own beer, then you will you will know exactly what I mean. Um, where you have to play around with carbonation levels. That is very smooth. A bit more bready coming through as well. Not overly bitter. Not overly sweet. Probably a uh, you know, two and a half on on each of those. Not overly hoppy. More licorice coming through now on the um, on the back end. Hop wise, not a clue. So it's not overly hop, so you can't just sort of, you know, get one straight away. If I was having a stab in the dark, it's probably Willamette. That is a bit of a favourite for dark ales, porters type, you know, stouts um, recipes. Maybe a bit of Fuggles Target in there, but uh, probably Willamette. Very very nice. If you ever see one, go and get one, perhaps for nostalgia purposes as well, because that is fantastic artwork. And if you like me, if you like the TV series, oh, that means quite a lot. So, in the words of the late great Patrick McGowan, I will not be pushed, filed, stamped, indexed, briefed, debriefed, or numbered. My life is my own. Thanks for watching, everyone, and as always, be seeing you.